Hi, I'm Jason from Pocket Lab, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use our newest sensor, the Pocket Lab G-Force, to measure the velocity as it goes through a loop. So we're going to take a look at a lesson in Pocket Lab Notebook. So in this lesson, students can start by predicting the energy at each point in this bar graph. So at the start of the loop, the potential energy might look like something like this, and the kinetic energy might look like this. Then after students make their predictions, they can connect their g-force and measure its velocity as it goes through this loop. So we got the data streaming here. We'll hit record. And save our data. So in this trial, we can see its velocity increases as it goes down the ramp, then decreases as it gets to the top of the loop, and then increases again as it rolls back down. So from here, students can calculate the energy at each point. So calculating the potential energy from the height at different points of the ramp, and then calculating the velocity, using the velocity to calculate the kinetic energy. Then they can graph their data in this bar chart and compare that to their predictions from the beginning. And then at the end, students can write their conclusions about uh, how does the gravitational potential energy change at different points along the loop? So this is another one of the many lessons that you can do with your students using the Pocket Lab G-Force. For more information, you can check out our Kickstarter.